Hi, Electron John here. Today I'm going to show you a new piece of equipment. Lots of new equipment coming out in the realm of EV servicing. This one here happens to be a high voltage battery charger discharger. Now it's not a balancer, but technically if you know anything about high voltage batteries, if I discharge this battery down and then charge it back up, and I do that a couple times, in a way it's a makeshift way of balancing, but it's not truly a balancer. So, why would I ever want to discharge a battery? If you happen to store batteries, so let's say you're a salvage yard and you're taking batteries out of vehicles, we all know about lithium runaway. It's a dangerous condition that could happen, but it can't happen if there's no voltage in the battery, right? Or very low voltage in the battery. So for storage purposes or transportation, there's a lot of rules and regulations depending on how you're shipping this battery pack from point A to point B. It either has to be a 40% charge or less, or 20% charge if you're flying it in an air freight type of scenario. So with all that being said, what I did is, there's three different ways I can hook this machine up. For the independent repair shop and for most salvage yards, you're gonna to wanna to use it the easiest way possible. The difference is gonna be the type of report that it's capable of delivering. So here I've got just a little makeshift type of battery um, I got individual battery cells all inside of a module. I've got four modules in that high voltage battery pack. So in order to drain each and every cell and to get a very accurate report, I'd have to hook up all of these different wires to the actual cell themselves. Now nobody's ever going to take the time to do that most likely. It's um, very cumbersome to do on a high voltage battery because I don't have access to the cells. I might have to take the tops off, the individual modules, whatever the case happens to be. So what I need to do real quick and easy though, is I'm going to just hook up the two big heavy duty leads. These are the discharger charger leads to where the battery cables on the car would go, the high voltage cables on the car, which I've got those screwed in. And then I've got one positive lead hooked up to each one of the modules. So there's four modules on this one and then the overall most negative lead is hooked up over there. I've got the machine powered up here. It's telling me that right now there is approximately 236.436 volts in this battery. This is maxed out at approximately 240 volts. So if I was going to store this battery pack or actually ship this battery pack somewhere, I would not be abiding by the rules and regulations, plus it would be kind of unsafe to just have this thing stored like this. So I'm gonna go in, I've already set it up. I set it up for just draining the individual modules, that's called string voltages. And then I've got the overall pack voltage set up. So all of this kind of looks good. I got it set up to discharge at a rate of 10 amps. I could make that a little bit higher, I could make it lower, obviously I make it higher it's gonna discharge and charge a battery faster. If all that looks good, I'm gonna say, go ahead and start. And I'm gonna say, okay. Now, the machine is going to be starting up. You're going to, you should be able to hear when it actually, right before it starts to discharge a battery, because the internal fan is gonna get a lot faster. So here it is, it turned on. It started at 236.208. Now it's down to 235.26, 235.02. Now it's at 234. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the actual discharging and we're gonna show you how we can charge this. So I'm gonna say stop, say okay. So you see that it discharges at a pretty quick rate of speed, even with the, only the 10 amp rating here. Now, if I wanted to charge a battery pack, let's say I ordered this from the salvage yard and it came, you know, maybe 20% charge or 40% charge, whatever. If I wanted to charge this back up, I just hit the charge button. And again, I fill out the, the formula here, it's already, I already told the type of battery it is, I already knows what a fully charged battery would be. It would shut itself off once it's done charging. It's also gonna shut itself off once it discharges. So I'm gonna say all that looks good to me. I'm gonna hit the save button. I'm gonna say start, and we're starting with a voltage of 
0.58 volts. I'll hit start, hit OK. Again, I got to wait till I hear the fan kick on and then it will actually start charging the battery pack. On the screen it also displays each one of the module voltages. So now that it's charging, we're at 236 volts already. Now we're at 237. So again, I set it up for 10 amp rate of charge here. Once it's all said and done, I can either set a timer so it only charges or discharges for a set amount of time, or I could just let it go till it's completed and it will shut itself off. So this is a very versatile tool. And again, it is a way that you could balance a battery, but we got a better tool that we'll show you in a future video on how to actually balance that to help prolong the life of the battery. One word of advice I wanna give everybody, this pack voltage is live, so when you go to hook up all the wires that you need to on this, you're going to wanna make sure that you have your high voltage gloves on. I did that off camera just to make the video shorter in length. You wanna play it safe, make sure that you're not gonna get electrocuted in any way. This is a very versatile tool, very useful in the automotive industry. And again, you might say that, hey, you gotta have the battery pack out so you could gain access to all this. But you probably have the battery pack out anyways if you're going to be shipping this battery or if you're going to be storing the battery. Maybe you have to remove a couple covers to hook up a couple wires, but it doesn't take that long to do it all. And I definitely wanted to show you this, especially to keep you not only safe, but also to keep you compliant with all the regulations about transporting the high voltage battery pack from point A to point B. Look forward to seeing you in our next video on battery balancing.